Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Valitra and I am the Crafty Black Girl. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I put together these Valentine's gift baskets. Yes, these are so beautiful and perfect for Valentine's Day. So if you're looking to make a little bit of money or you are looking to make a gift for someone you love, try these. All right, so getting started, these gift sets I purchased from City Trends. So what I did was print out these, well, not really print. I cut out these hearts using my Cricut Maker. I got this Cricut holographic vinyl from Walmart, and it was in the clearance section for about $7. So basically what I did was use these hearts to cover up all of the areas where the price tags went on these gift baskets or gift boxes i simply opened the back pulled out that paper scratched off the tag and then covered it with the heart and put it back in and just reassembled it putting the box back on top and then just sliding the ribbon right back above where it was. I didn't dismantle anything at all. As you can see the ribbon, you can just tighten it back and retie the bow. So it looks just like it did before, but with the price covered. So now I'm taking this and I'm using this Dollar Tree gift basket. I love these baskets and I'm stuffing it with paper. This paper I actually ordered from Amazon and it came with 640 sheets and I believe it was about $30. So that's definitely a steal being that before I used to use it from Walmart, 200 sheets for 14. So then I just stuff five sheets of paper. I do them back and forth and then one over all of them. And then I stuff my shredded paper. I also get this from Amazon in bulk. I get in about a 10 pound box. Then I'm gonna sit the gift box on top of the basket and I don't really like how it looks so I'm gonna funk it up a little bit and turn it to the side. So then I have these Dollar Tree Valentine socks that I have, they're so, so cute and I'm going to put it in that basket along with the gift box. Just hanging out the side, we want it to look a little different, non-traditional. So I found these in Michaels, these candles that are on sale because they were Christmas candles. However, they are red and glittery. So this says Valentine's all day. So what I'm gonna do to tie it in is go ahead and take one of those hearts that I cut out using my Cricut and I'm gonna put a heart on it. So now guess what? It's a Valentine's candle, boo boo. So because it wasn't sitting high enough, I went ahead and added more shredded paper and put it underneath so I'm, then i'm gonna take this cute little watch set with hearts on it that is perfect for valentine's day i actually found this from city trends and i really really love it it's perfect for this basket then i'm gonna just attach it and i put some tape on the back and adhered it to the gift box so it does not move we don't want anything jumping around so then i'm gonna tape the candle to the watch box and then we're going to add some chocolates what's a gift basket without chocolate so i'm going to add it right across the front because i want this to be displayed beautifully frontward and i want it to sit up so i'm going to tape it to the top of the box in the back and for extra support to make sure it doesn't fall down i'm adding these bamboo sticks and then of course i'm going to take my tape and i am going to tape the back of it and make sure the bamboo sticks stay in place on the back of this and the plastic is so perfect so you know it's not gonna budge but i don't want to stay there because i don't want those bamboo sticks showing in the back of my basket and i don't want to look in janky so we're going to add more tape i doubled it with my hand of course this is packing tape and i'm just going to take this tissue paper and cover up the back then we're going to tape it to the side of the gift box and we are going to cover that up we don't want to see anything on the inside we want it to look seamless we want it to look clean so that's what it's looking like for now you cannot see any bamboo sticks you can't see how the chocolate is sitting up so next we're taking this super large 
shrink wrap bag it's 30 by 24 i believe and what i'm doing is just folding it down because i am definitely going to cut most of this off with my little cricut vinyl cutter but i use it for other things too comes in handy if you don't have one get you one so yeah that's the excess and then i'm going to open this up i have two open sides which works perfectly for me um sometimes the bags work as a whole and then sometimes they don't i just cut them up and do whatever i need to do with them i don't really like the rolls but you know it is what it is so now i'm going to gather the bag where i want it to sit and i'm going to tie it of course with some curling string i don't know what you call that balloon string um and yeah we're just going to go ahead and close up the basket at the top and then we're going to go ahead and take those sides with the same packing tape and we're going to just fold the sides over to the back using that clear tape works out so well because you cannot see where you adhered it to the back so that is super super perfect and it is super super seamless and i try to cut off any excess paper or any excess shrink wrap bag because the less paper you use the more professional it looks the less baggy it is the more professional and clean it looks so i'm just attaching the tape and laying it as flat as possible so you cannot tell then i'm going to cut the top of my bag and i like to cut mine slanted so that it has like a little jagged edge then i'm going to take these pool bowls that i went ahead and ordered from amazon i believe i bought 200 of these if not 100 something like that and this is what i'm going to use in the front for my bow I wrap mine around the back and back around the front so that I can have some curling ribbon left over in the front for me to curl. And so I just took the red one that I initially tied it up with in the white one. And then we're going to add a little bit of pink tool just to add, you know, add a little color. So I cut these up in probably like maybe five, six inch um, sections. And then I'm going to tie it with my ribbon and we're tying this on the back of the basket so that we can add a little bit more bam to it okay so we're going around the front tying it and bringing it around the back and we're going to separate this and it makes like a little tutu effect sort of bow it could have been fuller but i like the way it is so that from the front you can see that then we're going to curl that ribbon honey that was left over and we got a basket so then I just adjust everything how I want it to be, make sure everything is in place. And now we are shrink wrapping. I'm using my hair dryer on high, being sure not to stop at all because I don't want to burn a hole in my bag, which these bags are pretty, pretty good. I stood still for a little while and nothing burned through at all. Like these are some tough, some sturdy bags. So as you can see everything is shrinking down and it will hold everything in place and keep everything neat and make it super clear so that you can see everything through my bags so then i'm going to add a couple more pieces of the vinyl and the little hearts they are so so cute and this is so so valentine's and i absolutely love it so this is what our basket is looking like so super just simple and so beautiful and so on time for valentine's day so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching make sure you leave me a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you are interested in seeing more videos just like this one we got diys valentine's all type of things coming up so make sure you hit that subscribe button thank y'all so much and until next time i will see you later okay bye